fellow Peanuts fans, I'm Karen from CollectPeanuts.com. Today we are going through an antique store. But spoiler alert, this is all the stuff I've already bought. But I'm sure there's plenty for you to enjoy when we walk through these antique malls. Now, just to let you know, my strategy for antique malls is to obviously find new stuff for my collection and also find a little bit for my shop. But I also want to leave plenty there for other Peanuts fans to find if they should stumble across this antique mall. If you want to know where I went, just join us on Patreon.com where I reveal all my secrets and show you a little of behind the scenes. If you want ideas on where to find Peanuts collectibles in your own neck of the woods, definitely visit CollectPeanuts.com. I have an article on where you should shop to find vintage Peanuts goodies. Plus, I also have an article on how to shop at an antique mall, what you should bring, what you should leave in the car, and other advice. While you're watching, be sure to take note of what I should have brought home and let me know in the comments. Maybe next time I'll pick up something for you. Let's get this antiquing journey started. First up, we have this little glass Snoopy lookalike. More interesting is this Schroeder pocket doll from the late 1960s. We're finding books pretty early. Some classics here, a Charlie Brown Christmas, Happiness is a Warm Puppy, and some Fawcett Crest books full of comic strips. Next, I spy this set of suspenders. Now, I couldn't find any licensing information on these, so I'm not sure if they're licensed. Let me know in the comments. Next, we have some Schley uh, PVCs. Hopefully, that's how that's pronounced. And of course, we're starting in with the Camp Snoopy glasses. You find these at just about every antique mall. What's this hiding behind this Superman pig? <laughs> it is a Snoopy bobblehead for the Brewers. This is one of those giveaways, I believe. It's not something I really collect, so I decided to pass on it. Next, we have a Medicom Astronaut Snoopy. These were made for the Japanese market, but you'll find them in the U.S. as well. What have we here? Some classics. Get out your VCR for It's the Great Pumpkin and Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. Here's a classic vinyl lunchbox. And a whole box of Hallmark ornaments. This is the only one that was in there and they left it out on top for me. But I decided to leave this one for another Peanuts fan. Right under these Snoopy plates, I spy something Snoopy. That's all I need to know what's in this pile. We have some board puzzles. This one is from Golden and it's in a yellow sleeve. That's why the color. And this beauty from Play School. Still wondering if I should have picked this one up. Let me know. And Snoopy and Woodstock. What could be cuter? Then we have a Lucy. I definitely have this one, so she was a pass. What's that? More board puzzles. And there's the Peanuts gang. They're just partying down. Plus we have Linus and this train set scene going around Snoopy's doghouse. Snoopy fishing, Snoopy and Woodstock in the rain. Next we have some more Fawcett Crest books at three bucks a piece. That's the perfect price to get started with collecting peanuts. Did you spy this Christmas Snoopy in the background? Here we've got some more videotapes. We have Snoopy's Country. There's Snoopy's Campfire Stories. We have the classic A Charlie Brown Christmas soundtrack. What a great price for someone to add to their collection. 
Over here we have a birthday mug featuring Lucy. And what's this back here? It's a Snoopy Burger King toy. Here we have some Hallmark Diorama ornaments. These are from the late 70s or early 80s. There you go, you can see one says 1980 there. And a couple of Christmas mugs, perfect for the season. I believe this is a Boy Scout mug. Somebody let me know in the comments down below. This is definitely not licensed. We've got a golf glass and a root beer mug. And next to this Snoopy wastebasket, we have a Snoopy Ketchum box. At $12, it was just a little too dirty for me to want to take on the task of cleaning it. Next, we have this super dog. Some people might mistake him for Snoopy, but not me. And a classic Chex Bank that is not from 1966, but from the 1990s. Another Hallmark ornament, this time Joe Cool. At $7, let's hope he finds a nice tree to go on. This animated plush, Skater Snoopy. These are still here from the last time I visited. These lovely color form boxes. It's too bad somebody hasn't given them a shelf to sit on. I spy in this row of books. There we go, it's good old Snoopy. At $5 in this condition, this is definitely going to be a pass from me. But what else is in here? It's We Love You, Snoopy. Here's a lovely Woodstock mug. He's not very old, but he's a decent price. But I couldn't figure out how I would drink out of him as a right-handed person. Next, we have a Linus mug. Also, again, not very old, but still a great piece for the Linus collectors out there. Now, with all these toys, there's got to be something there. Did you spot it? Because it took me forever to see this thing right in front of my face. So, of course, I had to take this home with me. Another Chex Bank. Let's take a look at this one. This one is $12. What do we have here? The Peanuts Puzzle for your puzzle-loving Peanuts fan. I definitely got to pull this one out. Here it is. Oh, and it even says all the pieces are there. As per usual, here's the Snoopy Pez dispenser you seem to find at every single antique mall. What do I spy? I knew it! It's a Snoopy and Friends paint with water. Just 50 cents? What's in this bucket? Yet another Snoopy? Can we find anything else in here? You always gotta dig to the bottom. Who is that guy? Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at Woodstock instead. Now we've got a couple Christmas things here. A Hallmark pin that was very tempting. And a Snoopy bag, especially at 25% off. I left it for someone else. <laughs> oh, what's in here? All this in Snoopy too? You're a winner, Charlie Brown. Let's see how much they are. It's just $3. That is a great price for a great condition book. Oh, a Joe Cool mug from the 1990s by applause. Just $8. If I didn't have enough mugs already, I might have sprung for this one. Look at this bin of toys. We've got an itty bitty Snoopy from Hallmark. 
But look at this. We've got a Woodstock wind up. Now this elephant toy bin is definitely giving me some Snoopy vibes. And what should I find? A Christmas sweater. Best of all, it's in my size, so I can definitely wear this next year. Look at all these old Sears catalogs. Oh, if I could get this Snoopy tent, that would be great. I just wanted to sit down, look through the catalogs, and relive those memories. Next, I found this Barbie silver Corvette from my childhood. I had the exact same one. It's missing the gear shift. And we have a Snoopy McDonald's toy here. At $5 and he wasn't working, definitely a pass. Here we have a Whitman's Bank Easter egg. This would have been filled with chocolate. He's a little too yellowed at $9. This lonely Snoopy doghouse is still here. We have a Christmas Whitman sampler with a Snoopy plush. What have we got down here? Charlie Brown's Encyclopedia number 15. Yeah, the electrical tape doesn't do it for me. <laughs> That's too bad. Oh, but what's this? A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. You don't see that one as much. A few more books here. These were originally $5 and they are still $5. That is a great item to pick up for a very young Peanuts fan. And of course, some more Camp Snoopy glasses and this Anchor Hawking glass. You don't see that one too much. Another Whitman's figurine, this time for Valentine's Day. $4 is a great price for this piece. We've got a set of holiday plates and cups. Plus, yet another Whitman's chocolate box with figurine. And some vintage Snoopy band-aids. And it just keeps going to this 1986 Hallmark Ball ornament. Oh, but what's this? Camp Snoopy glasses? Who would have thought? <laughs> I have plenty in the shop at collectpeanuts.com if you want to help support the site and our channel. I'm still wondering if I should have bought this storybook and record set. Care Bear glass? No, we're looking at the Snoopy snow cone machine plunger and it always looks so precarious in some of these shots when i'm filming <laughs> thank goodness i never knock anything over nobody ever seems to know what this is it's it's not a bottle here we have a Snoopy mug and a Woodstock planter that everybody always thinks is a mug. We have a vintage 1980s life jacket. While these are really cute to look at, they definitely never use old life-saving equipment because you don't know how well it's going to work anymore. I'm seeing a lot more of these, the Charlie Brown Christmas tree popping up everywhere. How much do they want for this one? $18. We have a Snoopy and Woodstock stocking holder from Hallmark. This is probably from about 1979, 1980, somewhere in there. And look at all these NASCAR cars. Here's the Snoopy DuPont car from about the year 2000. And we've got a couple tins here. We've got a Whitman's Surprise Tin and a Chex Party Mix Tin. But up here, we've got a Woodstock Nest Egg. Still wondering if I should have picked him up for another collector? Let me know in the comments below if I should have sprung the $15 to get him out of this antique mall. 
He's from the 1990s and was made by applause. Our final find of the day was this Snoopy Armatron watch. He comes with a Joe Cool stand. Unfortunately, his dome is cracked, so that's an automatic pass from me. I hope you enjoyed this antiquing adventure with me. If you'd like to join me for the next one, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you can help out a little bit more, join us on Patreon.com where you can help defray the price of gas and get me searching for more treasures to share with my fellow Peanuts fans. If you'd like to know more about collecting peanuts, where should you go? CollectPeanuts.com, of course. You can view photos of my collection, read articles on collecting peanuts, and of course, expand your own collection in the shop. Happy collecting, everyone. Bye.